What's good, everybody? You're probably wondering where was I yesterday? Another miss of an upload? Well, no, I was on vacation, and I have a couple pictures on Instagram, actually. You can check them out or whatever. I don't know. I was, with, I was just with my friend Liam, and I think I might see him tomorrow, or maybe you guys as well. So, hopefully that'll be fun. Anyway, um, welcome to the the 2001 Lego Star Wars sets ranked from worst to best. Um, this is, this is like the Lego Star Wars video that has like the lesser amount of, uh, sets. And, yeah. Let's just get on with the ranking, shall we? Number 11 is no surprise, and that's C-3PO. This character, well, despite, um, being very, uh, Technic, part of the Technic series, which is a very popular series for, um, um, any series of the Lego Star Wars, um, thing, uh, um, despite, um, he it looks like a droid, but, um, it just, it's just very bland, and I'm not really a fan of Technic stuff. Next up is the Stormtrooper, who gets a foot higher than C-3PO for having a cool blaster, but still, just its design is pretty, um, bad, especially when you look at in the background of what Stormtroopers actually look like. Next up is the ATST. Chewbacca got slightly printed later on, so he's not that different compared to what we get nowadays. He's not that bad, but uh, the ATST, well, despite being an actual Lego set, is still pretty bad with those ugly tan pieces. I mean, I like the color tan, but it does not belong to an ATST. An ATST is supposed to be gray, and they just decided to go with different colors with this one. I guess to make it more simple or whatever, but still, it's just ugly. Next up is the TIE Fighter. This one is higher than the ATST Walker for her, just having a more nostalgia feel to it with that blue, despite the blue being very inaccurate. And the Stormtrooper and that Black Trooper is pretty good too. Sorry about my racism there. Next up is the Escape Pod with C-3PO and R2-D2 and a really big, huge printed area inside that Escape Pod. I mean, it's a pretty decent build, which they, uh, um, recently remade, and despite the inside being pretty empty, it's still a pretty decent set to me. Next up is the Droid Carrier. This one is very nostalgic to me because I got the 2011 one, and this one really isn't that bad, even for back then. It's a great way for, um, to get some new droids, and it's pretty cheap, too, so I really like this set. Next up is Waddle's Junkyard. The best part about the set is the fact that you can create in two sets, Waddle's Junkyard or Pot Racers. I'd say the Pot Racers are better in my opinion, and I hope they still remake them someday. Next up is the Rebel Blockade Runner. Um, this thing is absolutely massive and huge. Of course, no minifigures because it was the 2000s. They didn't do that for UCS sets. People are absolutely crazy about this thing. I'm not personally, I just like its design, even for 2001 standards. Probably does have so many pieces it has, and, um, despite that, um, I don't really know which one is better, this one or the one from, uh, 2009, but, you know, who knows. Next up at my number one spot is the Imperial Shuttle. You know, even by for 2001, the set really doesn't look half bad. I actually like it. I think it's almost as good as what we get by nowadays. Sure, it's not as good, but still, it looks pretty decent, despite that top part having some weird, um, colors on it. But, um, yeah, uh, I, I really like this thing. I think it still holds well. I think it looks kind of sleek, but, of course, not completely sleek. I just think that the Imperial Shell is an awesome ship. Some of you guys might give it to the Rebel Bot Page Runner, but I give it to this one, personally. Even the minifigures aren't that bad. I still love those Royal Guards. I wish they just would have uh, left it there and just kept them the way they were to this day, but unfortunately they remade them. But um, I made a video on that um, most recently. It's actually my most recent video. And um, yeah, Emperor Palpatine, despite being yellow, in case you're doing like a yellow minifigure or something, this guy would be pretty useful too. Um, and of course, um, an, a pilot, an Imperial pilot. Um, so I really like the set. But what's your favorite 2001 LEGO Star Wars set? Let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.